No one comes to Fort Bridger by accident. They are either sent or drawn here. When I first came to visit, I had not yet discovered that this was a Mormon commune. Looking back now, I can remember the look in their eyes. I had no idea what I was getting into. You really need to know who you are to live here. I thought I did. This place was frozen in trauma. My relationship with myself was about to be challenged. I had to choose between who people wanted me to be and who I actually am. My best friend and I were sitting in my room one day, looking over a spread and working it out together, when my neighbor pulled up in his backhoe carrying the biggest tree in Fort Bridger. A neighbor made it a regular thing to supply us with wood. We do large burns in our cauldrons sitting out front together. Another neighbor had been cleaning up his trailer park and decided it was easier to drop off all the trees at our house rather than cut them up and dispose of them himself. He figured that since everyone else brings me wood, he would too. The tree was huge. I stared at the tree all day and discussed with every visitor what I was going to do with it. Finally, after Don Julio got a hold of me, I had had enough and dragged it back over to his park. His family is large and in charge. They never shy down from confrontation. But from that moment on, they went the other way down the street to get to their own park, instead of going down my street. They avoided me. It took a few months, but eventually, they warmed up enough to start saying hello to me. I guess I understand. The older generation had to fight so hard for their claims, then fight even harder to keep them. The younger generation is more about sharing and working together, having fun and being creative. We want to tap into our resources. <laughs>